In this video, what I'm going to do is show you perhaps something that's really counter to what I normally would, which is where a GUI is actually better or, well, better is relative, simpler than using the command line. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's just say you had a series of Docker containers running on your local machine. Not the best output because it scrolls and it wraps, but just work with me on this. And you can see here, I have two containers running, but I don't really know where they're running from. This is a Docker compose based configuration. So if I knew the directory, I could shut them down. But how do I find out that directory? Well, you could do it from the command line by doing something like Docker inspect grabbing, whoops, one of the container IDs and then scrolling up here through the output until we come to the mount section, which comes up here and then coming to the source line, right? And there is the directory or the path to the directory where I'd need to change to to run Docker Compose down. Now that's fine and it is really helpful. And I guess in a more um, normal situation, perhaps you might have a script that might do something like using JQ, for example, and then we would put in those details. We put in something like this and filter down to the mount section of all of those entries. Yep. And that should give us there. You can see here we've filtered down to the mounts for both of those containers and then we can just get the source details there, nicely color coded. So that is kind of quick. But in this case, I think Docker desktop is just that much quicker. Let me show you what I mean. If we come on over here to Docker desktop, which I've got running under the containers tab, you can see here, I have my Docker compose configuration. If I expand it out, you can see I have the two containers. Now, Here's how much quicker it is. Click here to go into the configuration. And then here up the top, there's the path. No command line foo required, no JQ or awk or sed or other tool, no filtering, no scrolling, no nothing. It's right there. Now, if you're a command line guru, you might be screaming at the screen right now or busily writing a comment to say that's just terrible. It's so simple to this. But my intent isn't to start any kind of flame wars. It's just to say that sometimes a GUI can be a better choice. Perhaps also you just prefer GUIs. It's just your preference. You're not much of a command line person. You're not too familiar with it. Um, or you just feel really uncomfortable. Either way, I think it's really handy to know that sometimes a GUI is the right choice and just how quick it is. Also, I hope this has also helped you if it's something that you need to do on a semi-regular basis that you can open Docker desktop and find the information right there. Now, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up as always. If you didn't, feel free to give me a thumbs down, but a thumbs up's much more appealing, at least for me. If there's something you didn't like about what I said, if you totally didn't agree with me, share a comment. Please be constructive though. Otherwise, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. Turn on the bell notification icon and otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.